guys and welcome back to another lip balm review, but first I have to complain about a thing that is completely unrelated, but um, so you know those like little butterfly hair clips, not shaped like butterflies, they're just called butterfly hair clips, like they were really popular in the 90s, some people still wear them, but alright, my bangs have gotten to that length where I either have to commit and just do something with them till they grow out, or I have to cut them again. And I figured, you know, I'll try and grow them out if I can stand it. And I was like, well, I need to have something I can do with this side here that is just unfucking bearable. And I tried barrettes, but, like, the sides of them just kept cutting into the top of my ear because of the placement of where they have to be for how short some of it is just to be able to reach right here. So, okay, I figured I'd go to Amazon and buy some butterfly hair clips. I did not know when they said mini that they meant this mini. Now, this may not really show you the true size of them, but, uh, can, can we, can we see how itty bitty these are? Like, I'll, I'll just pop one out of the package here so you can see. I, like, don't even dare take them out of this package unless they're in my hair because I will no doubt lose them. They are so freaking tiny. Yeah, th th this is not what I meant <laughs> when I ordered uh, mini butterfly hair clips. I thought I just meant the smallish ones that I always had, but okay, uh, apparently there's a new smaller size. I have no idea who they designed these for. Like, I can only imagine these were, like, designed for baby hair or something. Not for a grown-ass adult with thick hair. Maybe if you had, like, really thin hair they'd work, but I have two just to hold back a very small portion of hair that keeps sticking up. Just saying. So, uh, if you're gonna buy some of these, I suggest you do it in person where you can see the actual size of them. Because they did not list the dimensions on the website or anything. They just... In the picture, they looked normal size. So I was like, what the hell when I opened them up today? But anyway, that is my rant of the day and my annoyance that Amazon is a very lying kind of a company, apparently, when it comes to these. So, yeah, definitely gonna have to grab some regular ones at, like, Safeway or somewhere, <laughs> if I see them anyway. But yeah, so I knew $5 is too good of a deal for 24 of them. I knew it. But anyway, that is not what this video is about. This video is a lip balm review, another Celestial Seasonings one, and my request, because I've been asked over and over about it, the Bengal Spice one. Now, I have admittedly never had their Bengal Spice tea, so I'm not even sure what this is supposed to smell like, or how true to its tea counterpart that it is or isn't. It's Eventually I'll, I'll pick up a box of it, but right now I, I have plenty of tea at the moment. I'm good, so I have to work through some of that first before I can even think about picking up more tea. So anyway, yeah, format-wise, it is a stick, and the packaging is kind of cool. I like the tiger, and the random pottery with the tiger, and flowers, and, and I think coffee beans. Why are there coffee beans? This is tea. I am so confused by this packaging, but it amuses the shit out of me because it is so random and just makes no sense. But yeah, so this is natural and organic. The ingredients list, pretty short. Extra virgin olive oil, beeswax, castor oil, aloe vera, uh, vanilla extract, essential oils of cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, clove, and nutmeg. And that's it. That particular blend of spices, or the essential oils of them anyway, sounds really intriguing and really spicy and good. So, very, very excited to try this one. But yeah, I don't think this is limited edition as far as I know, but it could be. It's not a part of an official set, but there is like six or seven Celestial Seasonings lip balms up on the website and in select boxes of the teas, but I can never seem to actually find those boxes, so I just bought them off the site. So, anyway, the amount of product you get is 0.15 ounces, standard stick amount. Uh, shelf life is actually not printed on this one, which is weird because the older ones had the expiration dates printed on the bottoms. This... Let me look. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I see it. I see. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Good thing I'm reviewing this now. Apparently it expires in March of this year. Whoops. But they, they were sneaky about it because it's over the barcode is where they put it. I'm like, oh, could have missed that. Hmm. I like it better when they put it on the bottom. But anyway, so there's that. 
price point wise, oh crap, I don't remember what I paid for them. It wasn't too bad, I seem to remember, um, on the website, so there's that, and you can get free shipping as of, I, I want to say it's like a 30 or $40 purchase, I think, but don't quote me on that, but yeah, you can like get them as a set of all seven, you can get just the one or ones you want, it's up to you. I would highly suggest trying to get that free shipping though, because it seems kind of silly to pay the shipping that they expect for like six or seven lip balms at most, possibly less if you're not even buying all of them. But yeah, so, sturdiness and drove in the two eyes, no wiggly turn wheel, makes me a happy girl, nice hard plastic, no give whatsoever, so very happy there. No special features, no medication, I'm trying to break the seal right now. There we go. Okay. Now it's gonna make me nuts if I don't peel off the crap from the cap. So just give me a second to do that. And probably take off half of my nail polish with it. <laughs> Come on. I'm like, hey, I actually have nails for once. I don't even need tweezers and yet I still feel like I might need the tweezers. Okay, I got it. Ooh. Even with it like six inches from my nose, I can already smell spiciness. I'm like, ooh. This is a nice one. So the wax is just natural beeswax colored. And let's get on to the scent because that is what I've been waiting for so much with this. Oh my god, that's amazing! Whoa, okay, hold on. Let me let me analyze what I think this smells like. Okay, so First thing to hit your nose is the cinnamon, but it's almost tied with, um, with the cloves. The cloves and the cinnamon are the most prominent in this, but the ginger is pretty strong too, and there's just a little bit of nutmeg, like, on the finish. And cardamom I honestly am not familiar enough with to be able to pick it out distinctly amongst the other scents in here, but, oh my god, that is really, really nice. Okay, alright, so, next time I go to Safeway, I'm gonna see if they actually have the tea of this in the store, because they do have a large Celestial Seasonings uh, section in the tea section, so they might actually have, and if they do, I, I will, uh, I will definitely be picking up a box of it, because if it tastes as amazing as this smells, oh my god, it may be my new favorite. This may be getting the first 10 of the year. Oh my god. It's so good. I'm like, I could just keep smelling it all day, but I need to put it on and like get on with this review, so. I'm trying to tell if there's actually a taste or if it's my brain doing the psychosomatic thing of thinking it's tasting it just because I smell it. But you definitely smell it some when it's on your on your lips, but not to like an overwhelming degree. So I think it's like a perfect amount for that. Hmm. I'm not positive if there's actually a flavor there or not. It's kind of a trip because like I said, my brain's trying to tell me that there is, but don't think there actually is. I think it's just because I'm smelling it and my brain's trying to interpret it also as flavor. Oh my god, that's so weird though. But it's so good. Okay, so consistency and thickness-wise and all that. Um, it's on the thin side but bordering toward medium thickness, but still technically thin. Um, but it's very slippery, very slick, pretty wet. Not at all sticky, not even a teensy bit as sticky, it's just very, very slippery. Um, very oily, which, I mean, most organic lip balms are, and that's a good thing, usually. Uh, in this case, it definitely is. Um, <laughs> there's only a few exceptions where I've been like, ew, no, it's gross. No, this one's hella good. Um, wow. Moisturization-wise, I have really good luck with these, actually, and I highly recommend them just as a brand. I wish they'd actually expand their lip balm line to cover more of their flavors. I would continue buying, like, all of them. Wow. Shine factor-wise, it's pretty glossy. Just 
so you guys can see. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see. Drink test. I have some coffee right here. I can check this with. So. First sip has not been out. Second sip a little bit, but not like terribly. It's only in one tiny spot. Third sip about the same. <clears throat> it's actually holding up pretty well for an organic lip balm to the drink test. Usually they don't do that well. It's kind of like Lipsil the other day, huh? Hmm. And now I have the smell of the spices on the cup, so now I feel like it's like spicy caramel macchiato. This, ooh, this is kind of good. Okay, so out of five sips, it only barely seemed to make a dent in um in the thickness. So that actually, you know, that's pretty good since usually if it's gonna come off quickly, it's within the first few sips. And given that it really didn't make that big of a difference, that's really good. So I could probably sit through the rest of this cup and it still be on to some degree, so yay. <laughs> In terms of overall longevity, um, being an organic balm and oil-based, usually they um, they absorb fairly quickly, like usually within an hour to it tops, but usually on average I find I get about an hour out of them. But that's just me personally. I know some people who get more wear out of them than that. I know some who get less, but on an average, just for me personally, I find they tend to last about an hour, especially for this brand. So there's that. But um, wow, I am very, very impressed. Like the only thing I could think of that would make this any better would be if they for certain had a flavor in with it on top of just the scent, but I'm not gonna dock them for that. So, you know what? The hell with it. First 10 of the year, and you guys know how rarely I give out 10s, okay? So, you know it's good if I'm giving it a 10. And no, not just because it has a pretty kitty on it. No, 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 no. It actually is that good. I super strongly recommend this one to you guys if you like the smells of spices, and just spicy things, and these particular spices, you will love this one if you'd like any or all of those scents. So, anyway, that's about all I have to say on this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below, and until next time, bye!